What is going on, y'all? Today we have a really exciting update from the TFT team. They posted this on Twitter and I think on all their socials pretty much, and that is revealing the newest trait that is going to come into set 9.5. So it seems like this time around, they're going to give us a slow drip feed of some content, of some new content that they're showing us rather than a big all at once reveal, which I'm a big fan of because hey, that gives me extra things to make videos about, which is cool. So the new trait is bilge water. Um, set cell with bilge water, the new vertical trait starring Runeterra's most charismatic pirates and gangplank. Isn't he one of the most charismatic pirates? Why is it and gangplank? Uh, we just hope they all can all get along. While, while you're here, be sure to stop by Rat Town, which is a new portal. Um, it's much nicer than it sounds. So here is the Bilgewater trait right here. And so um, the units we have for here is Graves, Illawi, Twisted Fate, Misfortune, Nautilus, uh, Nila or Nyla, however you want to say it, um, and Big Daddy Gang. Um, so we have right here, it's Fire the Cannons, Bilgewater, 3, 5, 7, and 9 trait. That could obviously change. Uh, th that Stuff like that changes all the time. But locals mark their foes for periodic barrages from their waterborne artillery. So you'll see in the clip in a second, but it's kind of cool. It shows where the bombs are going to drop. It puts a little a red explanation point over the unit. And then after a short delay, bombs will drop from the sky. It's very satisfying to look at. And then let's look at Rat Town. This is the new portal. So Rat Town, lucky shops can appear randomly featuring units tailored to your army. So lucky shops appear randomly. Tailored, and I imagine it will somewhat go through the same tailoring rules that emblems do. Um, so yeah, so you'll have some lucky shops that'll guarantee you some units that are usable on your board. Maybe you're not going to want them, but they uh, technically have some overlapping synergies. Okay, next up, we're going to watch this video right here. I'm gonna turn the volume off. Um, it's really not that important to hear the volume. Um, we're gonna watch this video of the new Bilgewater vertical being played. And there's actually a lot we can gleam from this video, a lot we can infer as well. So just straight up looking at the units here, and you can infer a lot from the HP value and what other units they're playing. So I think Gangplank is the four cost is a four cost in this build, is what it looks like. Um, because he has a lot of HP, he's a frontliner. And I think he is replacing Jarvan. Because as you'll see, he's gonna have a big ghost ship ability, which I think is a CC ability. It's hard to tell if it how much damage it does in this video because the same time the ship hits, um, all the units die, but that could have been some other stuff. I think he is the replacement for Jarvan. The reason why I think that is, is because he's frontline, he's placed center, um, meaning that like this is not how you'd position a DPS carry usually. Um, he's placed center on the board, and uh, the ship comes out at the same time he does it. And we're playing a strategist. We're playing Swain. So Swain is here inferring to me that the only reason why you want to play Swain is that one of these people are strategists. Gangplank makes the biggest uh, case for being a strategist. He's also a pirate captain who would be a good strategist if you want to go lore. So I think he is the replacement for Jarvan, most likely. Um, so that's really cool. And we're going to watch all this stuff, but I just want to go over each unit real quick. Uh, Nyla, the way she moves around, uh, she it seems like she does her dash. She doesn't dash through the unit. She's either going to be a three or four cost is what it looks like, just based off of her HP values and what she does as a unit. Looks very three or four costy. That's what I'm guessing. Um, and so it, if she is a four cost, she's probably the replacement for Gwyn. Just looking how she moves, she moves very similarly to Gwyn. So maybe they're gonna get rid of Shadow Isles. Um, we'll see if they do that. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Alawi is looking like a one or a two. I think she's a one cost, uh, just based on what her ability looks like. We'll, we'll watch it in a second. Nautilus is probably a two or three cost, I'd have to guess. I, I didn't actually watch to see his ability. I think Graves is, he does his smoke screen. He's going to be a two cost or a one cost probably, just based off his HP values and what his ability does. TF is looking like a one, two or three cost. Um, looking more like a one cost when I watch him play, um, which is interesting. They're gonna have a lot of low cost units. Maybe there's going to be as a reroll tech with Bilgewater. We'll see. Um, I can't tell if he rotates his card. It shows him throwing out his red card, but it could be that mechanic where he rotates his card between red, yellow, and blue. That'd be kind of cool. I think those mechanics are really fun, although can be very tilting sometimes. I think they're fun. And then this is looking like MF as a two or three cost unit. She makes it rain. So it's just like set five MF and a lot of different versions of MF where she just um, puts her guns in the air and then bullets rain down from the sky um, in a small AOE. And it looks like she actually resets her targeting, which is, insane if she does that like watch the end of the clip whenever we watch it i think she does reset her targeting like she's about to miss and then it just redoes it on the other side which is 
a crazy quality of life change for anybody who's played MF in the past uh, because that has been pretty garbage. Um, that her targeting has been always been very bad. Uh, so let's check it out. Um, so here we have the video. I'll put the volume on a tiny bit. So watch uh, Gangplank. So the ship comes out. I think that's CC, right? Yeah, it didn't do a whole lot of damage. And as you probably saw the bombarding coming down as well. Um, so let's watch that again. Let's pay attention to Gangplank. Gangplank seems like the one he summons it, right? Yeah, he is it, right whenever he fills full mana, he does that. And if you guys played Dodo Auto Chess back in the day, or maybe they still have this guy in the game, I'm not sure. But this was like the premier four cost. I forget his name, but he was a pirate captain and he would put his sword in the air and he would summon a ghost ship that would come out. And that was like the most broken four cost in the game. Um, so I'm really, uh, really happy about that. Yeah, that was really fun. And then watch at the end of this video, watch MF. Um, I think she resets her targeting. Watch, she's gonna cast on Jin. I believe. All right, check it. Look, she cast. Okay, you see the, the Make It Rain came down, right? Let's watch again. So she's making it rain, and then the, the, it moves over there. Did you see that? So her targeting is fixed. As soon as Jin dies, it retargets. Watch. And that's not, look. The Make It Rain's coming down, and that's not just the bilge water because the bilge water doesn't summon the small particles. Um, okay, so let's watch Nyla this fight. Let's watch Nyla. As you can see, she's going to dash. She dashes to the side, gains a shield. It's very similar to her set uh, 7. Her set 7 version. It's ever, I feel like... It said seven that she dashed through the units like a Kali. I think I'm I think I'm combining a Kali and a Nua. And, and Nua. So it looks like her basically her set seven Lagoon version, which I had a lot of fun playing that. I'm sad that Graves isn't going to be a four cost and we can't do the uh, the mommy and daddy build as I would call it. Uh, it'll be a single mother build probably. Um, okay, let's watch TF this time. Watch TF. Look, he's going to throw out his red card. Okay, let's see if he casts again. Okay, and this seemed like that red card, did that cause a fear? Who caused a fear? Did you see that? Right when his... Oh, 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 she was feared. Okay, she was feared by Warwick. Okay. They threw out his red card. It just looks like it dealt a little bit of damage. Didn't do any CC or anything. Maybe it does a slow. Maybe it doesn't attack speed slow. He threw out a red card again, and then it popped up blue, though. What is happening? What did it look like the first time? A blue card came up after he did that as well. I don't know if there's a mechanic going on here for it's just like pretty simple. Or is there anybody else we need to watch? Let's watch Nautilus. Graves just throws out his smoke screen. I already know what he does. Allowy just punt, just, just slams on them, does a little bit of damage. I think it's just one cost Allowy. Let's watch what Nautilus does. Nautilus is like his two cost version where he, he just ults the front line. Okay. And then something else we can look at real quick is we can confirm units that are coming back. So it seems like Sharimas will Shrimas will be back. Ionians, obviously. Um, these are pretty much all Ionians. Zon will be back. Um, Jin is back. Uh, I wonder how many units are going to replace in some of these builds, though. Um, we'll have to see what happens with that. And then we know Demosians are back. Uh, but if Noxians are going to be here, Demosians have to be here. So that, that just wouldn't be fair. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, I'll be kind of hounding these updates. I'll, I'll be paying attention. And so if you guys aren't on Twitter or X, whatever, um, and other socials, then I'll be your guy to update you here on YouTube on uh, some of the new updates uh, for the new set. They'll have a big announcement in about a week, most likely. It's I think, gonna be at the end of this patch, gonna be like a day or two before it goes live on PBE, because this set goes live on PBE, I think, next week. Um, so uh, we're gonna have a lot of new stuff to talk about soon. So that's gonna be awesome. But appreciate you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.